Let's discuss different privileges that can be considered for a virtual warehouse and can be assigned to a role. You may think why it is important. Compute or a virtual warehouse is an object which incur cost if created or managed incorrectly. If you have assigned an incorrect privileges to a role and a user belongs to that role has created a virtual warehouse that is not fit for your workload, it may incur a lot of cost without any tangible benefit. And that's why this is one of the important facts which we need to be aware of. When it comes to Snowflake Virtual Warehouse as an object, as on today, it support five different privileges. And we are going to see all of them in practice. Before we go and try them using our Snowsite Web UI, let me quickly explain each of them. Let's talk about usage grant. If a usage grant is given to a role, it enables using a virtual warehouse and as a result, executing query on the warehouse. If the warehouse is configured to auto-resume, when the SQL statement is submitted to it, the warehouse resumes automatically and execute the statement. So in any enterprise environment, most of the users should have the usage privileges. If you do not assign any other privileges, make sure virtual warehouse should have auto resume and auto suspend parameter configured appropriately. Next is a monitor privilege. It enables viewing current and past queries executed on a warehouse as well as usage statistics on the warehouse. So for your development team, it is important that you allow usage as well as monitor both the privileges so they can use a virtual warehouse and check which all queries are running. This monitor privileges make your development team more productive for analysis, for copying the old queries and for any other monitoring purpose. Third is operate grant. It enables changing the state of a warehouse. It can stop, start, suspend, and resume. And enable viewing current and past queries executed on a warehouse and aborting any of the queries executing on the warehouse. For example, if you have an ops team and the ops team wants to start, stop, and suspend a particular query, that role should have these operate privileges. Now, next is a modify privileges. This grant enables altering any properties of a warehouse like auto suspend, auto resume, including changing its size. Now the last one is apply grant where you can associate a tag with a warehouse. And if you do not have these privileges, you won't be able to attach a tag. Monitor and apply privileges do not have direct impact on the cost of your virtual warehouse. If you assign a usage, or operate or a modify role and if these roles start using a virtual warehouse or start modifying a virtual warehouse it will have direct or indirect impact on the cost in your snowflake environment so whenever you are designing custom role in your snowflake environment make sure that you pay good attention to this virtual warehouse privileges to those roles let's go to our snow site web ui and see all of them in action i am back in my snow site web ui this is the warehouse screen my current role is system admin and I'm able to see all the warehouses. Now let me change my role to public and let's see what all warehouses public role has access to. When I switch to role public, this role does not have access to any virtual warehouse. So let me go back to my sysadmin role. Now I'm clicking on ad hoc virtual warehouse. And here I click on privilege select the role public and give my first role usage. Now I can click on grant privileges. Now privileges is granted. And if you would like to know what query is executed, you can go to monitoring and the query history. And here you can see this is a grant usage on warehouse to role public. Now let me switch my role to public. Now this public role can see the ad hoc virtual warehouse and however, it cannot see any button called plus warehouse in the sense this user cannot add any virtual warehouse. So let me quickly go to my worksheet. Since I'm a public role, I will have access to my sample data and I'm going to select this sample data and say, so show table does not need any virtual warehouse. Now I can select a virtual warehouse from here. And then, now I managed to get the result because I have usage access. And this ad hoc virtual warehouse is already having a auto resume and auto sustain parameter true. So I don't need any other privileges to use this virtual warehouse. Good. When I come back to this warehouse screen, I'm not able to see anything on monitoring. 
if I have to get an access to the monitoring privileges, I have to keep the monitoring privileges to public role. And for that, I will first switch to my sysadmin role. You have monitor privileges. So let me assign it. So I will go and click on that. And I say public role. And I will say monitor. And grant privileges. Now you see public role has monitor and usage privileges. Now here I can see warehouse activity for my public role. So now right now I do not have operate privileges. So I cannot start and stop this virtual warehouse because I do not have operate privileges. Switching back to system admin and going to this virtual warehouse and clicking on this privileges and giving public as operate. Going back to public role. Now here when I click on this, I can get this three button so I can resume the virtual warehouse if it is not running. So let me click on that. So with the usage privileges, you won't be able to stop and start. And for that virtual warehouse should have the parameter auto resume equals to true and auto suspend equals to some value. But once you give operate privileges, user like uh, having a public role can also operate on that. But can I drop it? Let's try that. If I try to drop it, it says this role does not have enough privileges to operate on it. And if I try to edit, I can make the changes. However, the save warehouse is still disabled. Switching back to system admin and giving modify privileges and save the. Now I can also modify. So switching back to public and now I can click on edit. And here, if I want to change from one to two, I can do that because I have modify privileges. So it worked for me. But can I drop it? No, I cannot still drop it because. Drop is possible only with the warehouse owners and in this case it is system admin or account admin. Again, if, if you are still confused with RBAC or DSE, I would suggest you to go and watch this particular video which covers everything about Snowflake privileges and Snowflake ownership. I hope you got something valuable from this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.